Something I see all the time. I've seen it my whole career. People wrapping tape around these gutter adapters because they're spewing out water. It's one of the biggest reasons why we made our vented cleanout leaf filter that takes you from the gutter downspout to the four inch pipe. Here's the results of not having a catch basin. Look at all the shingle gravel that was in this system. This is why they had problems. That's why we're here. And when the installer leaves a belly, and that thing is full. Like that thing is full. Look at that. So there's the blockage and you can't do anything with that. When they're full of shingle gravel, it weighs so much, it's so heavy. I'm not gonna dump it out because it, it's it's full. I don't want it all over the lawn, make the job harder for the guys. But this downspout, you can see how this main gutter run that goes across the front, there is another gutter on this gutter trough. So there's two gutters, but you can see there's two downspouts. So even though at first glance, this looks really short, you have the water dropping from that gutter above it. So there's gonna be a fair amount of water. There are two by threes. So there's only so much a two by three is gonna give you, even when it's maxed out. So the guys are working together to set this line. It's a really long run. This whole line is gonna be on three inch plus. One downspout's moving a lot of water. The other downspout, not so much. That downspout right there, you can see there's only two feet of gutter on that downspout and that's not gonna bring that much water. So we're gonna just merge them together right there and then we're gonna use one of our sediment traps. We only need one sediment trap. Once we get past the second one, we're gonna put that sediment trap right here because when you go from a really steep grade, like you see here, and then all of a sudden it starts to flatten out. Where it starts to flatten out, the water is going to decelerate and it's going to drop all the sediment. So this is a great spot that Valente picked to put the sediment trap. It's going to grab all the shingle gravel that's coming down this downspout line. Always make sure that your leaf filter is nice and straight before you backfill. Valente got the leaf filter nice and straight. Packing the dirt in around that riser. You can see this copper sock is the whole length of this run. So make sure you cut the downspout so that there's enough downspout to drop into the leaf filter past the seam where the top meets the housing. Valente measured that. He knows right where to cut that riser. He uses a box knife all the time. Homeowners, don't try that. Use a hacksaw if you're not used to a box knife. A lot of people have cut themselves really bad. So the idea is to drop that downspout inside this leaf filter past that seam where the top meets the housing. So what I tell my guys and what I, what I teach, right here, drop it to the top of the opening of the door for cleaning out the leaves, or just drop it you know, to the top of that blue screen. That way you know you're past the seam. That's the best fit for best fit and performance. So the guy's got one three inch line. They tied that second downspout in right there with a Y. They're putting in one sediment trap right now. That's all we need for this line. They're gonna go with the black turf plate because it's gonna get lost in the landscape versus the green. This is pretty important. The guys they have one piece of pipe from the pop-up all the way to the catch basin. They're gonna cut this pipe to put on a catch basin. Then one piece of pipe from the catch basin all the way to the Y that goes to that downspout. Then they have one piece of pipe from that Y all the way up to the leaf filter on this downspout. This ground cover is terrible for roots. Ground covers are bad. You don't want roots getting into your system. If you keep the pipe solid 
for the whole distance and you're not putting couplers on and more connections, there's less liability for the roots to get into your system. There was no leaves in that pipe, but all right there. And that's right when it comes off the roof and all the leaves got caught right in the 90. This is what always happens. They're just packed solid in there. Oh yeah, no water was getting through. This is why they flooded right here. They got shingle gravel and leaves. The leaves plugged it and then the shingle gravel started piling up behind the leaves. Yeah, no, there's even some roots in there. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a mess. That was right there in the corner. That's ground cover roots. All right, so Dirk just cut this open so we can show you what's inside. Look at that. Roots and shingle gravel. Unbelievable. This is, what, this is exactly what happens when you don't tape all your connections. You don't have a leaf filter to filter out all the organics. You don't have a catch basin to catch all the shingle gravel. The shingle gravel got caught up in the leaves and the roots. So you need a leaf filter and you need to tape it. And then the shingle gravel in a smaller diameter pipe on a 2x3 will go all the way down to the sediment trap. That's ridiculous. It's just roots in there. Yeah, that's a whole system in there. Right here you can see this grade change from really steep and then the grade softens and rolls in here. We still have good slope, but right there the water is going to decelerate and drop all the shingle gravel. So that's why the sediment trap is right there. Valente did a fantastic job at picking the location for that sediment trap. Couldn't be better. <laughs> This sock fits on three inch and four inch pipe. Perfect. So the guys have a pop-up, not quite a 90, and it has the three inch adapter. Just snaps right in, super quick, super easy. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. It supports the channel. If you have any questions regarding this installation, leave them in the comments section. I'm your host, Robert Sherwood, and until the next video.